Well, February is here already and it's a pretty good time to be sending a campaign because many of us could do with a few extra bookings in the diary this time of year. I've put together a plan which will show you whether you should send a campaign, what type of thing you might like to be able to send and also how you would send it. So there are four steps to running a campaign. The first of which is to calculate if you actually need to run one. So you can do this quite simply checking your appointment diary and just seeing how much white space there is. And if there's more white space than you would like, then you may well want to send a campaign. Or if you want to be a little bit more scientific about it, you can go into your management and your reports, go into your finance reports and you'll see your projected revenue report. And if that looks like there's a little bit of heavy lifting to do before you get to a number that you'd be happy with during February, you may want to send a campaign. If you do do that, you'll need to decide what you want to say. Now again, often what we do when we're putting campaigns together is we tend to think a little bit more along the lines of what we want to give as opposed to what a client might like to receive. So the perceived value of the offer to your client is going to make a really big impact on the type of engagement that you get when you send your message out. Uh, what we've got here is a selection just to get your creative juices flowing. You might want to use something that's here or you might want to edit it and uh, make something a little bit more of your own. But I've got three options here. The first is, is to get £20 off when you're having a colour and a cut and finish book together. The second option, well, we've got two options in that message where you can get a shampoo and conditioner or a pack of products with a certain service and then a different type of product with another service. I've put shampoo and conditioner with color and a styling product with a cut and finish. And the final one is if a client makes a certain amount of spend in, in their appointment, they'll get a free gift card. I've put for 20 pounds, but again, it needs to be something that you're comfortable with, bearing in mind that you want your clients to be attracted to the deal. Once you've decided that, select your audience. So who you're gonna send this to. The rule of thumb here is the more recently your clients have visited, the more likely you are to get a higher engagement with your campaign. And so it's finding a fine line between sending it to somebody that was gonna come anyway and shaking the trees and getting somebody to come a little bit early or perhaps spend a little bit more than they were planning to. And then you need to choose when you're going to send it. Now again, the key thing here is that you need to make sure that your team are available to take the calls. Text messages tend to create a fairly immediate response to a campaign. So make sure that you're sending it during the day or during working hours when someone there can take the call. But again, keep it sociable. Lunchtime, early evening tend to be good benchmarks to aim for. To write a template, the first thing you do is you would enter management from your front screen and then choose marketing and then letters, emails and texts. Select add on the left hand side and enter a description at the top, which only you'll be able to see, your clients will not see that. And then put in the content of the message. Now a key thing here is to make sure that you have a clear call to action that's attractive and the all important telephone number with an STD code. Please don't send the message out with no telephone number in it because it really will affect your outcome very, very negatively. So the messages will automatically insert hi and then the client name at the beginning. Once you want to do your lookup, you would stay in marketing and now choose select clients. And we're gonna focus on last visit from and last visit to. What this means is it will exclude any clients that have a future booking already. So my recommendation here would be that you went back a few months, so maybe May or June last year, up until the end of November, early December last year. So we're identifying clients that haven't visited for at least three months or so and do not have a future booking. Because we're sending a text, we need to make sure that the mobile checkbox is entered. And when we've done that, choose select clients, which will then give you your client lookup and show you how many clients you're going to be contacting. When you're happy with that, tick the text box on the right hand side and then choose proceed where you'll see a list of your templates that you've got in your system. So identify and select the text template that you've put in place for these purposes. And when you're happy with it, choose select on the left hand side. And at this point, your messages start to get generated automatically.
It may take a minute or so, depending on how many messages that you're sending, but when they're sent, the next prompt will be, would you like to create a promotion? And I'd recommend that you say yes to this. And the reason for that is you can now measure exactly how many people were contacted, how many people have booked and how much money they've spent. So put your description and your valid from and to at the top of that box. And then you'll see just where the second window is there is got display prompt in bookings. If you check that when your clients telephone, it will prompt up and tell the person taking the call that they received that campaign. So it can be reinforced over the telephone once your team get behind it. When you finish, just press proceed and that's it. Your campaign is up and running and you'll be able to measure the exact outcomes that you get as well.